Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Red Riot from My Hero Academia, a.k.a. Ida, or not Ida, but it's a it's a name that starts with E. But yeah, it's hard to pronounce it here on the channel. <sighs> Sorry if I had to say I couldn't pronounce it, but I know him as the hero in the anime cartoon as Red Riot. But before we get on to comparisons, we're going to talk a little bit about Red Riot here. He is a, a classmate of Zuko Midoriya's in Class 1A. That's what we know about Red Riot. And he's got a quirk that allows him to harden his skin and head to make him indestructible. Doesn't that kind of remind you of the Hulk and uh, the Thing from Fantastic Four? Yeah. I thought that was cool the way he hardens his body. That's pretty sick. Articulation. The arms can do a full 360, which is nice. They can move out that far, which is nice. So you get a lot of movement out of these figures, even though they're tight. You can kick back that, kick forward that far. Sorry if I said back that far. That was my bad. But he can kick back that far, but this skirt cape is really getting in the way. Head is on a ball joint, which is nice. It's just a real tight one. And that's all there is to say for articulation. Is this a good-looking figure by my standards? Yes. These are $10 figures from McFarlane, and they are worth the money to build up a My Hero Academia collection. I hope they do more of these, because I love these figures. I really do. But now we're going to get down to comparisons. Here we got Ida next to Red Riot, the class rep. We got Todoroki, the cold and hothead of the My Hero Academia. Kind of reminds me of Iceman and the Human Torch, if, if you know what I mean. Sorry, that's a timer going off. I'll turn that off. But yeah. That reminds me of two different superheroes. We got All Might, the teacher of Class 1A. Why not? Why would I do a comparison? And of course, we're going to compare Red Riot next to My Hero Academia, Masuku Midoriya from McFarlane's Bigger Inch figures. And they look good together. Friends together. Next, we're going to repair, repair him next to Sue. And Sue has got a quirk that's a frog quirk. So yeah, that's what she looks like next to Red Riot. And the last comparison we're going to do before we end this video. Udaraka next to Red Riot. And they look good together. And it looks like sort of Udaraka's floating. It's due to her stand that came with this figure. Would I highly recommend you pick up a My Hero Academia Red Riot? Yes, he is worth the money. Sure, his name is hard to pronounce in the English terms, and I have hard trouble saying it on the channel, but he is pretty cool. And I just love the My Hero Academia show. I highly recommend you pick this guy up. He is worth ten dollars to add to my collection and build up the my hero academia collection for my shelf and that's all there is to say for this review if you like this video please make sure to like please make sure to comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'm glad i could do this video before the con so this will be the last video i'm going to be posting before Steel City Con starting Friday. So now I'm moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.